Hi guys, look at this question. The question is x minus 4 whole cube is equals to minus 8 and we have to find the value of x. Let's see how do we proceed in this question. Just move minus 8 on left hand side. So, its sign gets changed into plus. Further, you can write this 8 as 2 cube. Now, here you can apply the algebraic identity that is a cube plus b cube is equals to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Further, considering this at a and this as b, you can write it as x minus 4 plus 2 into x minus 4 whole square minus x minus 4 into 2 plus 2 square is equals to 0. Further, you can write it as x minus 4 plus 2. Here you can expand it by applying the algebraic identity that is a, a minus b whole square. You can write it x square minus 8x plus 16 minus this is 2x and this minus minus makes plus and 2 into 4 is 8 plus this 2 square is 4 is equals to 0. Further you can simplify it as x minus 2 into x square minus 8x plus 16 minus 2x plus 8 plus 4 is equals to 0. Or here we have a quadratic term that is x square. Now there are two linear terms. It makes minus 10x plus this 16 plus 8 and this 4. So this makes 28 is equals to 0. Now we have two possibilities that is x minus 2 is equals to 0 and x square minus 10x plus 28 is equals to 0. So the first solution of x is equals to 2. Now comparing this equation with the standard quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0, we have a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 10 and c is equals to 28. Now putting these values in the quadratic formula that is x is equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So we have minus 10 plus minus minus 10 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is 28 upon 2 into 1. So here we get 10 plus minus this is 100 minus this is 112 upon 2. Further, you can write it as x is equals to 10 plus minus, here you get minus 12 upon 2 or you can write it as 10 plus minus, this 12 can be written as 4 into 3 and due to this minus sign, we get a i here upon 2. Now, here we have 10 plus minus, this 4 is a perfect square of 2. Now taking out 2 common, we have 5 plus minus under 3i upon 2. This 2, this 2 gets cancelled. So x is equals to 5 plus minus under root 3i. So there are 3 solutions of x. First of all, x is equals to 2. And we have second solution of x is 5 plus under root 3i. And the third solution is 5 minus under root 3i. I hope you understand it. And if you like it, kindly subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.